Do you still remember Q-Scout? If you don't, I have just the machine right here for you. Okay, so first let me show you what is on the box. Right here you see a very nice picture of Q-Scout. If you remember our first episode, you know, it looks exactly like this. And here, this is a beautiful picture. Uh, you can see all the pieces that contain inside the box and everything you need to build Q-Scout. And here, this is a QR code for you to download the app, a Google Play or App Store. So let's uh, open this box, shall we? And this is one of my favorite thing about this box is all this pattern on the box. It looks very high tech. And let's open this. A very nice picture of Q-Scout, of course. Here we go. Very big and nice. Well, I'm sure that a lot of you would like to post it and uh, put it on the wall. On this side, all those important information about how to use QScout in multiple languages. On the top, you see all those parts that are contained inside the box to help you to build QScout. And also QR codes and also using the tape. Well, I will show you in a minute. So let's put the poster away and take a look inside the box. Okay, so when we open the box, we see a very nice diagram of Q-Scout. Inside this box, actually we have three very well-organized layers. One, two, three. And what does this do? Take a look at this first layer. This is the main board, the control board. And also we have two sensors that comes with the package. This is the uh, ultrasonic sensor that will help robots uh, Q-Scout to detect object and also avoid object. And this one is called the line tracking or line radar. And this will help uh, Q-Scout to tell which direction uh, Q-Scout needs to go. And on the second layer, we see the main body of Q-Scout, which contains two wheels, the main body, and a smiley face, two very handsome wings fill the, uh, fill the material. This is aluminum alloy. And also we have two motors that would drive Q-Scout. Okay, open it and we see all the tools that you need to build Q-Scout. We, we even have a screwdriver. Uh, and also cable to connect with the PC and also more cable connecting sensors with our main body and also the ports and also different screws in different size and the tape that helps with uh, the line tracking function and also a battery box so with this battery box you will need seven double A sized battery to drive Q Scout. Also, we have uh, we have designed a special RoboBlock rechargeable uh, battery for your surfaces as well. And also, this one, this little wheel helps uh, Q Scout to turn. And these two little guy, this is like the standard or the the, the support for the sensors. I will show you in a minute. Okay, so I've got everything here that will help me to assemble this cute robot Q-Scout. And also don't forget to download our app because all the instruction is on this app. Very detailed, very easy. So let's uh, do this. Shall we give it a try? First, 
use the uh, open the downloaded uh, Roblox app and uh, connect with QScout through Bluetooth. Once it's connected, we are going. You can control it the way you want it to. Wow, so cool, right? So it only took me about 15 minutes to build. This is the engine level and it's very easy to build, easy to control with our MyCode app. You can even code it with your phone. If you wanted to know anything about our product, any one of our product, please leave a comment in the comment section. 